Hello and welcome to Every Rock Has a Story. For today's story, I'm going to tell you about this rock right here. This rock. And I'm going to tell you the name of this rock right off the bat. This rock is called bauxite. Bauxite. B-A-U-X-I-T-E. Bauxite. It's kind of a funny looking rock. Let me show you it up close. Bauxite is lightweight, light brown in color. It's got sometimes has those sort of white circles or brown circles in it. Part of its formation. But the interesting thing about this bauxite is what it's got in it. Bauxite is loaded with aluminum. Aluminum metal. In fact, if you want aluminum for soda cans or for vegetable cans or for building construction, aluminum is a really important metal to do things with. If you want aluminum, you got to get it from bauxite. This is where we get aluminum. But what if I told you that we wouldn't have bauxite if we didn't start with this? Remember, this is our granite, what the continents are made of. What if I told you that we can make bauxite by starting with granite and doing something very important to it called weathering? Weathering is what happens to a rock, like granite on the continents, when it sees the air and the rain and the atmosphere. We've talked a lot of times about how the air and the atmosphere can change rocks, like the rusting of the earth and other examples. In this case, granite, when it sees the air and the rain, it starts to break down. We talked about this already. Remember the feldspars, those pink feldspars in the granite, they have lots of sodium and potassium, remember? And they get washed away and end up making the ocean salty. But there's more than just sodium and potassium inside feldspar. Feldspar is also loaded with aluminum. But aluminum doesn't get washed away and dissolved in the water. It stays behind. So when this granite weathers, all the weather, the rain and the wind breaks it down, and that weathering strips away the potassium and the sodium and some other things, what gets left behind is this bauxite. Bauxite is actually what you get when you have the most intense, extreme weathering you could possibly imagine. And to get that extreme weathering, you need three things. You need a flat, stable continent where everything stays in place, because if it's too tippy, all those sandy soils will wash right away and fall right away. But if it's flat, the stuff that gets left behind stays in place. The second thing you need is heat. It's got to be hot, hot, hot to really drive that weathering and make it really intense. And the third thing you need is water. It's got to be wet, wet, wet to help drive that weathering. If you do that, you will create a really strange soil. Soil, in large part, is what we get when we weather rocks like granite. We make clays and when we really, really weather something, we make bauxite. Bauxite is just aluminum, a little bit of water, a little bit of oxygen, and that brownish red color, that's usually some iron too, because the iron doesn't like to wash away too much. That's how you make bauxite. Bauxite is what you get after you deeply, intensely weather granite on stable, flat continents like Brazil or Australia or China or India. Those are some of the places in the world where we mine a lot of our aluminum. 
And it's interesting how this works. To get the aluminum out of there, you have to get rid of the oxygen and the water. And there's all these complicated processes. And the most exciting step is they take all the aluminum combined with the oxygen and they grind it all up and they actually melt it into this hot steaming bath called cryolite. Whew. It's this hot molten potion. And then to get the aluminum out, they shock that steaming bath of molten aluminum and cryolite. They zap it and shock it with electricity. And that electricity allows the aluminum to crystallize out as pure aluminum metal. It's a really interesting process. The problem with that, we use so much aluminum, we have to extract so much aluminum to use that electrical shock to zap it in that dissolved, hot, boiling, molten cryolite plus bauxite all crushed up. We need a lot of electricity. In fact, Australia, which produces more aluminum than any other country, more than 10% of the entire country of Australia's electrical energy goes to make aluminum. That's a lot. And it used to be a lot more in the past until we started recycling. That's one of the reasons it's so important to recycle our aluminum cans and things like that, because it takes a lot of electricity, a lot of energy to make new aluminum. So if we can recycle the aluminum we've used and use it again, we won't have to use so much electricity like we used to a long time ago before we got smart about recycling. So bauxite is the rock of the day. Bauxite is what you get when you intensely weather good old granite, feldspar. And once you have, you can mine aluminum and with some electrical energy, create that aluminum resource to use in our cans and our buildings and things like that. Interesting what humans can do with energy and with the materials of the earth. And recycling is one of the greatest inventions to make aluminum use and processing sustainable for the future. Bye-bye.